Greetings, Keisha Lane, it's Keisha Prime here with my live reaction of One Piece, Chapter 978. And uh, it's great that everything's back, but as I was informed yesterday, Golden Week is next week, so everything will be on break again. So the hits keep coming, but hey, you know, whatever. Um, let's see here, the title is Introducing the Toby Ropo. Okay, and we've got Gang Beige's Oh My Family, Volume 25. We're grateful. Thanks for saving our captain. Okay, so you got the rolling pirates. They're happy that Lola got saved. And then, you know, you got Beige's group. They're all, you know, it's like, uh, no problem, no problem. Gotti, he's probably got a future wife in it now, and... I still want them to be called, like, the, the rolling tank pirates or something, you know, just now that they're kind of probably going to mesh together in some way. <clears throat> and this definitely bodes well for future endeavors when it comes to allying with the Straw Hats, because, you know, Lola's going to vouch for them day and night, you know. So, yeah. And Chef Lime would probably be like, eh, they're nice folks. Go with them. <laughs> Let's go with them, you know, beigey. <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. And he'd be like, anything for the wife. Uh, but, yeah, let's see here. Get this going. Uh, in that case, let us follow the plan and meet at the uh, rear gate of the castle. Okay, we got... All right. And the... um. I always forget what is uh. Law's submarine called it, it's like never said i think it was given in a data book or something i don't know uh but anyway okay we've got the samurai they're all just kind of looking through the portholes and stuff and it's like whoa so this is what it's like to be underwater <laughs> and not <laughs> nearly be drowned okay you got the fleet heading through snow cap Crevasses or no, just like a narrow path. So let's see here. Still yourselves, okay. And we're getting like little group shots. There's no saying uh, where they will strike back. <clears throat> yeah, okay. I thought the when they will strike back. I thought no, I read it right. I trust uh, you've kept your combat skills in shape, Dinjiro. You know he has. Also, Denjiro has lost the pompadour. He has gone full-on ponytail. He's looking more like his old self, though that may never be, you know, really the case. <clears throat> if I hadn't, there would be no meaning to living the last 20 years. Wahaha, sorry for the long wait. Let's end it now. Yes. Okay, and Luffy's and Kid are both on their figureheads. Oh. Oh, God, the, the looks in their eyes. Oh. Oh. So this is what Onigashima looks like during the fire festival. Where did that fucking giant ass sword come from? Is it from one of the numbers? They was like, hey boss, I just want to stick my sword over here. You know, can I? It's like, I don't care. Just keep it out of the walkway. And it's like, all right. And just stabs it in the fucking ground. Who the hell would have even made that? One of the numbers has to be a blacksmith. But, uh, yeah, with all this, like, Oni-looking imagery you've got with some of these, uh, yeah, they're like the fountains, you've got Firefoxes, and oh my god, as I scroll down, I start to realize how big this shit really is. The boats are like fucking miniatures <laughs> compared to even the Inari statues. Um, good lord. That, then that makes that umbrella like a frickin' canopy. Whoa, this is Onigashima? It's huge. Yes, or uh, large, <laughs> for anyone who's been watching our live streams and stuff. And that, it's a joke at this point. Um, it's, uh, uh, I've never seen it before. Well, of course you haven't. We're in Kaido's lair. Okay, and they see them looking, or they're seeing them in a window and everything, and everyone's just all happy and stuff. It's hard, it's hard to tell 
which part of the crew they are because they all seem to have like little horns they all have the the fluffy kind of boa capes that they've got so yeah it seems they haven't given a second thought to the possibility of enemy attack that means uh conjuro hasn't reported it yet or reported in yet i don't know how that's possible he got a major head start plus the fact that he's flying you know, flight is like the quickest form of transport outside of just transport. You know, you know, like instant transmission and portals and all that kind of shit. So yeah, our sneak attack is still possible. Or he's reported in and he's doing this to fuck you over. You know, draw you in closer and then have you in you know snared. <clears throat> See, Kaido's castle is all the way in the back, right? It's further than I expected. If we don't know, or if they don't know we're here, the speed of it is of the essence. Speed is key! Okay, so you got Usopp guards. I, I hate that he doesn't have, like, his little goggle, you know, uh, like, telescopes anymore. They were, that was very effective for him. Now he has to use binoculars like any normal person, or, Oh god, there's a beast pirate. Look. What's the uh, ships? Huh? Nah, no one said nothing. Hello, boob window. That's not even a boob window. That's just straight up cleavage on that girl. Uh Wait, what the hell? Green Star Sleep Grass. He <laughs> has yeah, sleeping gas, but it's just a straight up flower. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, who's up, you monster? I think I actually gave him a power-up that was, like, sleeping gas. I think I gave him a lot of, like, gas-based weaponry for his power-up videos. Go check those out. See if I'm actually misremembering it or not. But whatever. Either way, it's a good use of this, of his pop grains. Huh? I thought I saw people there. Looks like they're asleep. No problem. But what? <clears throat> Who's up to fucking playing games now? I see, I think I get uh, the gist of the operation. Uh, but if we moor this many ships in the opening, it will be absolutely certain to alert the enemy of the incoming battle. Or the coming battle. I mean, you're not wrong, Jimbe. Off the ships at once. Huh? The ships are sinking. What the fuck? Uh, what happened to your ships, guys? We sink them before we go. On this mission... We need no return ships. Kennymon, the fuck, man? I mean, I guess worst case scenario is after you've won, you could maybe hijack one of Kaido's ships, but still, it's like, don't do that, man. <clears throat> I know you're probably gonna, it's either win and win or die you know that that's the samurai code you know there is no fleeing which is probably what he's implying here but still it's like what, what happens if you win how do you get home uh. what if we want to run away oh chopper uh, we don't need to do that to the sunny do we <laughs> oh hell no frankie would fucking kill you all over my dead body uh, we can hide a few ships, just disembark and don't worry. Okay, all those ships. God, Frankie's hard work. Just, uh, I suppose this speaks of how serious these samurai are. Don't get spotted. Every last one is utterly resolve, or resolute. They will win or die. Nothing less will be suffice when challenging the emperors of the sea. Okay, and you see them all just rushing over the bridges and everything. Oh, what the? What's going on? Oh, God, the beast pirates are there in quite a mass. When did that happen? The shore is packed with bad guys. No, it's not them. Look at the foot of the bridge. What? What the? The fuck? Oh! It's Kinemon! He's turning everyone into a beast pirate disguise. And Kid just like, what the fuck did you put on me? What's the meaning of this? Uh, 
Fluffa, it's their uniform. So Killer, I think, gets it. <laughs> Uh, it is one of the greatest applications of my garb garb power. Since when did you ever start naming it that? Like, I don't think he's ever said that. Like, he doesn't know anything about Devil Fruits. So they wouldn't know the name of it, right? Hmm. I call it Ken's Clothing Company. <laughs> he made like a little gateway somehow. And then everyone who walks through it just... That, but that's cool. That, that Damn, why didn't he use that before? Would have been so easy. But I mean, for this it makes more sense, you know? But, uh... You are mighty pirates, I can tell. Attack this island however you see fit. But the enemy is, uh... Madrid? I know I've seen that word, but I, for the life of me, don't know what it means. They have over five times our number. I would recommend making use of that transformation. Oh, look. Oh, hello, Nami. Uh, I want to see Robin so bad. What does she look like in these outfits? Everyone's got little horns. Well, Chopper's already got horns, so he's just got like a little, like, you know, like old German helmets. That's kind of what it looks like. Brooke just has one coming out of his afro. Okay. Oh, whoa. And... I see Sanji over there just fawning over Nami. Where's Robin, goddammit? Beware that it, eh, it is only my jutsu creating the effect. If the garb should be removed or damaged, they will, especially Luffy, um, they will return to your original clothes, my comrades. Avoid any unnecessary conflict as we make our way to the place of the ultimate battle. Rah! <laughs> May luck shine upon you. Hmm... Sounds very similar to the, what was it, shit, the Hunger Games. What was it, may luck f be in your favor, I believe is how it was said. Um, let's see here. It's the Golden Festival. That was Fire Festival, what the hell? It changed all of a sudden? I mean, that that's kind of befitting considering next week is Golden Week, but you know. Uh... That only comes once a year. Queen! Queen! What the hell? Oh, those are like puppets and stuff. Okay, I was like, who the Freaking Scratch Man a poo over there going. <laughs> Keep your weight. I kept your weight. Neat Queen! Hmm? If I get any thinner, I'll steal all your hearts. <laughs> if I choose the way I am, I stay. And he, what, what is he doing? Uh, let's see here. Funky! Okay, Onigashima. So he's like the party master, basically. <laughs> oh, Lord. I see some dude who's a giraffe. Most of these look like normal-looking dudes, so they're either the the waiters or... What was the other ones? The, uh, the gifters are the ones in what the hell is it called? The pleasures. Um, let me hear it if y'all are feeling it. Waiters! Woo! Those waiters, those waiting smile fruits. Pleasures! Yeah, ha, ha! Pleasures, those who lost the bet and laugh. <laughs> gifters! Gifters, those blessed with powers. Oh god, that dude is just straight up a gorilla. <laughs> Oh, that guy's got a crab claw. That one's got... The hell? He looks like he's the giraffe, but his body has... Like, he's got a giraffe body coming out of his, like, neck? <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. Also, there's a girl there who's covered up by the gifters sign. So I can't tell what she is. Headliners! Yeah! Headliners, the chosen gifters. As in they were, like, you hand select them because they have better, you know, gifter powers? I don't know. Toby Ropo! And silence. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Uh, they've never uh, or chimed in on one of these anyway. Yeah, ha, ha. Ignore those ignorant punks. Forget them. Where... 
Where are my monsters at? Numbers! Ha cha cha cha. Go kiki. Kuyutu. I don't know how to say that. Um, you're all over the place. Now let's go to Orochi's forces. First up, the elite samurai. Mimawari. Ku or Gumi. That's a new name. The ninja. Oniwa Banshu. Yoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. And here we got some special guests in the house tonight. Big Mom's children. What? <laughs> uh, that's the stupid queen. He's ever so obnoxious. Wait, who are these? Are, are these the Toby Ropo? They just called the Toby Ropo ignorant punks. Why the nerve of that beastly man? The, the way you're talking, it sounds like you're above the frickin' calamities. Which I'm not... I'm pretty sure is not the case. So... Weird how you're saying that. Also, that looks like a woman. So there is a Toby Ropo that is a girl. That That's fair. I like that. It'd be awesome if I would have actually, like, evened it up. You know, like, say, because it's six in this case. You know, like, three women to three men it would be good. But, you know, yeah. oh, it ain't that way. <laughs> uh, if this, another one of your weird trends, stop, uh talking like it's embarrassing. Wah, Pepe, sweetie. Pepe? Is that a name, or is that your laughing pattern? You don't have to be ashamed. Don't call me that. I'm just spitballing. Okay, we're getting little more glimpses of them. That one's smoking. That one's got, like, a, a military-looking hat. You've got um, Drake there, and you've got someone with a pipe that kind of looks like feminine hands, but I, it's hard to say. But if Queen were to die, say tonight, who would be the next headline, or lead performer, you think? I'm guessing you think it's yourself. So they plan on just wanting him dead. Okay. Um, I have no interest. Well, of course you don't, Drake. If, uh, we're dropping out as a candidate, you'd be a great pay pay can't hack it either you're dropping it out too or you're dropping out too right what okay interesting dynamic they have oh we finally get them okay these are that dude looks like a fishman he very well might be a fishman which to be honest is probably the best thing when it comes to people who probably have you know like uh, devil fruit powers because then you won't drown if you get thrown into the ocean or whatever but uh hey uh sasaki if you insult my pay pay one more time i'll break you in two wait who's pay pay <laughs> but yulti is the there's actually two women it looks like so more even than i thought it would be Otis. so uh but anyway but who's Pepe? I said, stop it, sis. Wait. Pepe is page one? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. So he's a younger brother. Oh, God. Did you order me to stop? You little brats, you're so annoying with your screeching. Who's who? Okay. These names, I'm not sure, like the Sasaki. I don't know if that's a card game. Yulti, I don't think, is an, a card name. Who's Who kind of sounds like it could be one, but I don't know. Oh, look, uh, Yuli, uh, when she snaps at any... Or, I love when Yuli snap or when she's... Ugh. I'm going to get this right, guys. Oh, I love Yuli when she'll snap at anyone. Black Maria. Why did they call us here just to make us wait? Next, Drake. They said it's urgent, and when, uh, Kaido says urgent, it usually means one thing. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Apparently Black Maria is maybe a giant? It seems like also she's the one who was smoking the pipe, so I was right. 
Hmm. Another family issue, then. Is Kaido stupid or something? Uh, are we... So we're getting into, like, potentially who his son is? Then? And we... Uh, snap at anything but that. Okay. Toby Ropo. Animal Kingdom Pirates. Uh, yes. And that is the end of the chapter, sadly. Okay. Uh, and it'll be on the 10th. But yeah, I've... Hmm. Interesting. I kind of like who's who. I, I like his helmet. I, I, I like characters where you can't, like, see their eyes, you know? And it's just kind of, like, you know, just white and whatnot. And it's probably the helmet, not so much his eyes. But either way works for me. But it's also interesting we're seeing horns on so many of them but I'm pretty sure most of these are probably coming from their headwear because you got page one we know he didn't have horns so this hat which looks like a bucket hat which to be honest I would wear um, that, that's got his his sister apparently or who, someone he considers a sister anyway she seems to outright have horns then you've got Black Maria has horns, as far as I can tell. They're kind of submerged in her hair, more believing that they are a part of her. But then you have Sasaki, who it looks like it's more coming off of his um, his hat. And then Drake obviously isn't wear doesn't have any horns for some reason. I figured he would wear some kind of you know headgear, but maybe not. It's not his style, I guess. But, uh, yeah, getting to see them, I'm definitely thinking that dude, Sasaki, has to be a fishman. But I could be completely wrong. He might be some kind of Oni race that's, like, really small, because he doesn't look much bigger than a human. You know, maybe two times the size of a basic human in One Piece. He's definitely not Black Maria in this case, so, hmm, interesting. So yeah, they, we're, we're finally getting closer to finding out what the hell happened, you know, with the whole thing with Kaido's son, I guess? I don't know. Um, some theories I've heard is that potentially, like, maybe, and this was from Teching, I believe, saying that, like, um, maybe the reason why he drinks is because he's trying to forget, and then, like, the horrific nature, if you think, like, if his son died... And he's gone into a big drinking binge and everything. And, like, he d he forgot that he's trying to forget his son is dead. And then he just goes around, like, asking for his son and stuff. And they do mention family issues. So, uh, I assume he does have a son. Or that is still alive, potentially. It's more likely in this case. But I did kind of like the Tekking's idea about it. But, uh, yeah... And then some other ideas is that maybe his son isn't, you know, up to snuff as much as Kaido would like. Or maybe he's the strongest, you know, other than Kaido. But, like, no one can, you know, rein him in. And Kaido, you know, just kind of, you know, lets him do as he pleases. Because it's like, eh. He just makes everyone kind of stay in line because they're scared of him. <laughs> Who wouldn't be proud of their son to do that? He's a pirate, damn it. You know, I don't know. But yeah, so we're finally getting to see the Topi Ropo. So th that's awesome. I wonder what kind of fruit powers they have, if any. I mean, we know Page One and Drake, they have, uh, what, what, what is it called? It's the dragon dragon fruits that are dinosaurs. But then you've got two ladies that could have literally anything. Well, actually, the, rem the remaining four could literally have anything. But I'm most intrigued with who's who. His design really speaks to me for some reason. So, <clears throat> Also, I love Page One's hat. If anyone could make me a hat like that, you know, once we know what the anime colors are or something, I would gladly wear that hat. Um, but yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah. But uh, let me know anything... Uh, that I missed or misunderstood. Great chapter. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Um, check out all my other content. See what you like. Suggest things for the future. Um, 
I've got some other videos that should be coming out today, but uh, yeah. Um, social media is down below so that you can always stay in the loop with all my content. I stream on Twitch where I'm playing Final Fantasy VII right now, and I'll tweet it out when I go live. I'm part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel. Go check that out. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Kishlings. Onigashima! Tobiropo! Whatever. I don't know. I don't know how to end some of these. Bye!